Now the PBS has announced they will be televising the impeachment hearings. What will the drinking game rules be? If you don't want to die, drink every time someone admits they were wrong. One shot for every, no one is above the law. If you still have a witch's hat laying around from Halloween, you can have a person wear it. It'll rotate around the room on time or whenever a new person is introduced during proceedings. Whenever the term witch hunt is used you will scream burn the witch and the person in the hat takes a shot of fireball. Most of these suggestions are jokes about drinking continuously but if you want a drinking game, that's really about the fundamental impact of the hearings. 1. Every time a witness suddenly realizes, oh no, I shouldn't have said that. 2. Every time a GOP questioner suddenly realizes, oh no, I shouldn't have asked that. 3. Every time a carefully crafted narrative falls apart and the witness is redirected into explaining a contradiction between their testimony and a. Previous statements b. Previous testimony c. Written evidence When it goes to the Senate I'm going to tape a cherry tomato to my TV and see how many times McConnell's mouth goes near it. Hello all you YouTube channels and clickbait news websites shamelessly stealing the responses from this and claiming them as your own. I see you. Drink every time someone doesn't answer the question. I don't recall equals drink. A shot of peach schnapps, which is beyond gross. I am H.O. Every time you hear the word impeach, a shot of Jaeger every time you hear the word tremendous. International drinking rules. Every time a county is name-checked in the impeachment hearing, you must drink a shot of the most famous national drink. Russia, vodka, Ukraine, Paulica, China, by GU, USA, bourbon. If there's anything we should have learned in the last few years, it's that there are no rules. Drink whenever, and then try to dodge the consequences the day after. Rule 1, drink heavily to dull the pain. Rule 2, there is no rule 2. Take a drink every time Russia is mentioned. There's gonna be a lot of people needing liver transplants after this week. Drink every time PBS is threatened with defunding. If we turn the impeachment hearings into a drinking game, we better have a death count on the screen too, to count how many people got alcohol poisoning from playing the drinking game. Take a shot every time you hear quid pro quo and try not to die. Every time Jim Jordan doesn't have on a jacket, drink. Take a shot every time one of the following is mentioned. Asterisk fake news asterisk witch hunt asterisk civil war. Take a shot every time someone Asterisk makes a question irrelevant to the proceedings to try and confuse the issue. Asterisk brings up fat about his a masterist dodges the question instead of answering it. Asterisk blames the other party. Asterisk blames someone else not party affiliated. Asterisk blames someone else within the party. Asterisk returns a question with an insult instead of an answer. I figure you'll be unconscious within 15 minutes to a half an hour, depending on your tolerance. Take a shot whenever Putin is mentioned. Take a drink every time you catch a rhetorical fallacy. HTTP 
www.mvrhs.org slash English Jeb slash Shark slash Link slash General Percent 20 Information slash Rhetorical Percent 20 Fallacies Percent 20 UDOC Percent 20 Texas Percent 20 at Percent 20 Austin.pdf of any kind. Two page PDF warning. The moment anyone says anything, remain stone cold sober watching every last second and remembering how we wound up in this situation. Scroll on Twitter under the hashtag at the same time and drink every time someone mentions they would start a civil war if Trump is impeached. Open bottle, drink until empty. Repeat. You will need it. I've been playing this drinking game since 2016. I'm not sure how much my liver can take. Take a shot for every person you register to vote for the 2020 elections. Hash democracy. Take a shot for Hillary's emails. Hunter Biden, if anyone says MAGA in its abbreviated or full form, do nothing Democrats, a Trump tweet containing the phrase, witch hunt, with at least one spelling error in the tweet, perfect phone call finish your drink for Trump promoting an anti-Hillary video on Twitter, any mention of COVID, a red herring involving MS-13 any mention of Xi or Putin by a Republican power hour starts with Ivanka promoting her brand or getting new Chinese patents, absolutely any mention of Baron by a member of the Trump family, Trump saying the words, fuck, or shit, on live TV. Take a drink anytime. 1. A Republican complains about the process being unfair. 2. A Republican questions the motives of a witness. 3. A Republican mentions Hillary, Biden or Obama. 4. A Democrat mentions Russia, Ukraine or the Mueller report. 5. Anyone utters the words quid pro quo. 6. A Republican declares the process a waste of time. Shoot a whole bottle of Jack if. 1. A Republican admits that Donald Trump did something wrong. 2. A Democrat says the process is a waste of time. Have fun and may ye not get alcohol poisoning. Take a shot every time a Republican calls for a yes and no vote and makes them tally every vote. Take a shot every time someone pulls the phone out and doesn't act like they care about the hearings take a shot every time they ask to repeat the question. Maybe take a drink every time someone answers a question honestly the first time it's asked. You know, like, if you have to drive afterward or something. Can someone give me a rundown on what's happening? I'm completely fucking stupid and I live under a rock. Every time a felony is added to the list take a drink. I'm assuming he's going to live tweet. So every time he angrily responds to an accusation take a drink. If his tweet mentions witch hunt or insult, the Democrats take two drinks. If he specifically calls out Nancy Pelosi or AOC take three drinks. Every time a Congress person asks a stupid question take a drink. Every time Republicans conveniently move their criteria for impeachment take smaller sip. They're going to be doing this a lot. You don't want to get alcohol poisoning. 1. If by land, 2. If by sea. TRUMP 2. DRUNK Drinking Game Player. S. 1. To infinite age. 18. 21st depending on legality in your region, time frame, as long as you can hold a beverage in your hand. Because this might take a while rules. Every player sits in front of the TV, with a beverage in hand. You should choose a good session beverage. 
This is going to get you proper fucked. As the impeachment process is progressing, players should be listening for the various chugging rules. When a rule is violated, each player must take a sip from their respective beverage. Don't rush this. Honestly, be smart. Chug rules asterisk when someone says quid pro quo. Raise your drink and salute. Then chug asterisk when someone calls the whistleblower a liar, traitor. Make a pirate R and sip asterisk when anyone uses a fat aboutism. Stand up. Spin around 360. And consume asterisk if anyone mentions fake news. Smack your forehead and say, duh. Then imbibe asterisk if anyone mentions Giuliani. Take the little green man off your glass. Then take a glug asterisk put your thumb on the table anytime someone says, witch hunt. And the last person to do so takes one asterisk whenever Pelosi is mentioned. The first person to Pelosi clap can give a drink to another player asterisk if someone says Trump has done nothing illegal. Everyone make a siren sound and guzzle. Shot every time the narrative changes between there was no quid pro quo and there was quid pro quo but that's fine. Every time someone refuses to answer a direct question, whether through dancing around it or saying they can't recall or can't answer etc. Chug for three seconds. Hopefully this helps you get through one person without dying for alcohol poisoning or every time someone says Trump, take a shot. Just drink constantly. Don't stop drinking until this whole goddamn thing is over and we can get back to the real reality we split off from in 2012. Promise to give up drinking if Trump gets impeached. One drink. Every time the same Trump or Biden is mentioned two drinks. Every time Ukraine is mentioned three drinks. Every time impeach or impeachment is said finish your drink. Every time someone takes one of those awkward gulps of water. Please don't do this. You'll all die of alcohol poisoning no matter what the rules are. Nice try, the funeral companies. Every time you want the world to end drink a bottle of whiskey. Watch it with someone from the other side of the fence. And each of you drinks every time the other says something you think is obviously dumb. You'll both be hammered in minutes. We all just tweet, sad, after we finish a bottle. How about every time a congressman, or woman, asks a question and then interrupts the person trying to answer it? We hit ourselves in the side of the head with a hammer. I like beer. I drank beer. I still drink beer. I like beer. Do you like beer, Senator? The past three years has already done enough damage to my liver. I'm going to put together impeachment bingo cards instead. I assume that every rule set degenerates too. Drink non-stop until drinking more is no longer possible. Whether that is because you have run out of digestive space, are too drunk to successfully consume additional liquor, or a dead will depend on the individual. Drink every time you hear Clinton. Take a drink every time someone answers a question with I don't remember. Shot of tequila for president, shot of vodka for Trump. The American people. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.